independent republic of Costa Centava discovers massive oil deposits and rapidly enters the world trade markets. Oil will dominate Costa Centavan politics for the next century. Costa Centava's economy is hit hard by the collapse of oil prices. Poverty, crime, and failed social programs all lead to an attempted coup by former Costa Centavan soldier Gerardo Delgado Vargas. But the coup is suppressed and Vargas is jailed. Pro-Vargas supporters overthrow the government and Vargas is elected president by popular mandate. Arguing for greater sovereignty and less dependence on the U.S., Vargas quickly reforms the Costa Centavan constitution, threatening the political influence of the upper and middle classes. A trade union strike escalates into an attack on the presidential palace, resulting in more than 100 deaths. Independent international media report the military's use of a new biological weapon, later designated CVX gas, to decimate the strikers. Vargas immediately takes control of all public airwaves to declare the attempted coup a failure and to condemn the U.S. for alleged CIA influence over the strikers. Your 9-11, our 4-11. All of history is about oil, but this is not Texas. There are no cowboys here, Mr. President. Congress passes a bill sponsored by Speaker of the House Davies to increase the number of visas for Costa Centavan oppressed dissidents seeking asylum in the U.S. In a televised speech, Vargas thanks the U.S. for being, quote, so willing to accept our nation's garbage. Vice President-elect Fritz meets with representatives of the Vargas government in an attempt to ease tensions. Armed with imagery of the hideous deaths caused by CVX gas, American protesters claim that the vice president's olive branch is really just an oil branch. At the invitation of the president-elect, a delegation from Vargas's Costa Centavan government arrives in Washington, D.C., coinciding with the new president's annual pilgrimage to the Lincoln Memorial. The FBI, the CIA, and the Secret Service are put on heightened alert. Friday, January 20th, and the world is out in force for today's inauguration of our next President of the United States. It's going to be a cold one, folks. We've just gotten word that the President's motorcade has left the White House for his farewell tour of the city. A uh, time-honored tradition. We haven't seen the president-elect as of yet, but dignitaries and world leaders are already gathering at the Capitol for the swearing-in ceremony. In other news, the South American summit is underway here in D.C. Pierce, do you have the president in your sight? Identify yourself. This is a secure channel. You're in violation of- We may not have much time, Agent Pierce. The president's in danger, possibly from within. You have to trust me. Give me a name. In the current situation, I'm only going by SST. And what does that stand for? You wouldn't know it, son. It's Latin. Virginia, even. You're definitely the right man for this. Listen to me. Someone at the very top has compromised the Secret Service. And are you in on this supposed compromise? Your real name Oswald? There are tyrants everywhere, Johnny. Who's the Oswald to President Vargas? Save it. You're just semper to me. You need to earn trust, not just demand it. I always earn my keep. Watch them all from the top down, or you'll lose the president. Semper? Semper, are you there? Hello? Copy that, sir.
Oh, oh, yeah. Excuse me, you mind if I get a picture? It's for my boy. He wants to be a Secret Service agent someday himself, you know. To protect the president. Step back, sir. No fun. Pot is down! Repeat! Pot is down! This is Agent Pierce. POTUS detail. I have multiple armed assailants. The president has been hit. I need backup. Attack is ongoing. I have no backup. Quickly, quickly, secure this area! Nice shot, keep it up! Five detail, we have Black Hawks on route to Sector Delta 1 to the limousine march. Prepare for evacuation. Lotus detail, this is Kaufman. Black Hawks are landing east of your position. Begin evacuation. Repeat, aim back to the Black Hawk landing point. This is Pierce. I'm on it. Pierce, this is Black Ops 1-4. I'm going to be your eyes. First RPG target, aim in your line of sight. You want to cross the tree line beyond the Black Ops 1-2 crash site. This is Pierce, Hawk 1-4. I'm past the tree line. Where is he? Southwest of your current location, next to a satellite dish. He's positioned at the top of a metal tower there. You got a visual? All civilian persons are to...
mobile and hostile. Take him down, dear. I'm 
American blood run in the streets! Fire! 
That does it, men. We're clear. Keep a tight visual just in case we missed a hostile. This is Kaufman. We have a safe perimeter to bring in Black Hawk 1 1 to airlift out the President. Report status and proceed with POTUS to the memorial stairs. Copy that, sir. POTUS in critical condition. Recommend medevac to Bethesda. We have agents down in the field, but POTUS detail is strong enough to move. All agents, hold your fire. We're escorting the president out of the memorial. Top to bottom. That suggests to me he's in on it now. As if he's not, I would have expected him to have done something more to stop it from happening. All agents, we have explosives in the Capitol building. Enough to bring down the entire building. We have over 100 civilians in the line of fire inside. We need evacuate. Wait, I found something else. Oh my god, I'm down in the... I'm in. The director himself cleared me through security, but it took too long. We don't have much time left. Stick with finding and defusing the bombs. Kill anybody who points a gun at you, but don't go looking for extra trouble. It'll find you on its own, I'm sure. Doyle, I have a situation here. Sealed door, security level A. I need the security code, now. What, there's no doorbell? I wasn't in the brochure. Uh, Alright, look, you're gonna need to find the security door control room. You can deactivate the lock mechanism from there. Alright, I'll radio in when I found the control room. <laughs> doorbell. Nice.
could blood rot in the streets! Doyle, where's my bomb squad? Waiting for body bags. As soon as they were in, they were hit. You're on your own. Doyle, I've taken the control room. You need to walk me through deactivating the security locks. They probably redefined the authorization grid, so you'll need to hack the computer. Think back to basics at JJRTC. Hacking 101, you took it, right? Then open Sesame, the door open. Override in place. Doors open. I'm through. Doyle, I have a hard target. One of the bombs. Don't suppose anyone from EOD is coming to save my ass. Uh, nope. They'd want to do it remotely anyway. And there's no time. It's just like hacking a computer, except for that, that nasty exploding sound when you do it wrong. Try not to connect a weak chip so we don't have to hear that, okay?
this way. I found a second bomb. Let EOD know. EOD's dead, man. Since you defused the first one, fine. And I don't want to get blown up. Glad at least you settled it down with it. He's only... All right, target's rendered safe. I'm moving to find the rest. Pierce? Yeah, Doyle. I've rendered two safe. Between us, that's four. Feels like 40, huh? We're only looking for two more now. I'll take care of them. All right, Doyle. I've rendered safe a third bomb. Looking for the last one now. Cover me! 
Santa sentada forever! For the blood of Costa Centava! Long live el Presidente! Damn you! Doyle, I found it. If any of them were gonna go wrong, I bet this would be the one. It's done. Fourth bomb rendered safe. Doyle, I expect you to back me when I ask for overtime on this one. Overtime's not over, pal. I've confirmed from Special Agent Kaufman that a group of civilians, senators, are hunkered down in the Senate chambers. They're under heavy fire. No firepower of their own except for a handful of agents holed up with them. You're their nearest help. I told Kaufman you were on your way. One man! Kill him!
What's going on out there, Agent? It's hard to say, sir. The attacks are widespread but focused. I need all of you to stay put until we get this situation under control. You'll forgive my pessimism, but I think that suggesting you can control a tidal wave. Every law enforcement agency in D.C. is dealing with this, Senator. What's vital right now is our sweep of the Capitol building for explosives. Explosives? Agent, as Speaker of the House, I expect a full report. This has gone beyond political assassination. It's a militaristic assault, Mr. Speaker. Are the President and President-elect still alive? The last update I had, they were safe. That's good news. Where are they? Sir, I have questions about the Vice President-elect. Do you know him well? We served a few terms in Congress together. Why? Did you notice anything unusual about his dealings with the President-elect? Son, you don't pay much attention to global news, do you? They hated each other. The story goes that Richards only put him on the ticket to get the votes. So they were political enemies. They couldn't even agree on the color of the White House. Their infighting practically split the party, and it certainly weakened the nation. Thank you, Senator. Here, use this if you have to. I'll do whatever it takes to defend this nation. Take my advice, sir. Start by watching your own back first. Costa Centava. You'll forgive me. Ah, you should have bet it all, man, because you got it. This isn't coffee or bananas either. They had inside help to get CVX into the capital, let alone the U.S. CVX gas is universally banned. You are aware this gives Semper credibility. Maybe. It's not hard to read up on how Senor Vargas used it on his own people in the revolt, or how he's BS the U.S. saying it's no longer in production. But of course it is. That's why it's foremost on the docket at the South American Summit. This week, in D.C., with a VP heading the U.S. delegation. I don't like where this is going, Doyle. You and me both, buddy. I'll tell you where you need to go, then. The White House. And I think you know who you need to see there. I'll call ahead. See if I can get agents on the scene to put me through to... Think hard before you do this, Pierce. Who stands to benefit from that conversation? You? Or the people who want to kill you. Son of a... Semper, you are not authorized on this channel. Clear out now! You go telling those men with state diplomatic clearances what you know. And one of those men with state diplomatic clearances is likely to authorize your execution. Same way one of them authorized clearance of the CVX gas shipment through U.S. Customs. You're telling me it goes that high up the ladder? Maybe even only one rung from the top. Watch what you say, and who you say it to. Welcome to the Labyrinth, buddy. DC Underground. It's a massive network of tunnels connecting most of the government buildings. Worst kept secret of the US government. Doyle, I'm blocked by an electric fence. Can you deactivate it remotely? Wish I could, but bet I can't. There should be a side entrance to the maintenance floor. We can detour you that way. Do you see the door?
I've made it to the maintenance floor, but I can't see a damn thing. What's the problem here? This I can help with. We have night vision goggles for these tunnels. If you can find a pair, you'll have a hell of an advantage. You see any? Doyle, how intense is the security down here? Very. You're not actually authorized to be there, so you should expect resistance. Unmanned turret station. Shut it down. The turret has a camera mounting. Take it out and the fireworks will stop. I think. This is Agent Pierce, badge number 33106786. I need Special Agent Kaufman of the Presidential Protection Division. I'm in the tunnels under the- This is Kaufman, Pierce. Stand down. If you weren't authorized to be in those tunnels, you sure as hell aren't authorized to open fire on the security systems. Sir, I had no choice. It's vital to national security that I reach the White House and speak to the President. I need full security clearance. You don't have it, Pierce. There are too many random elements in this mess today. I'm telling you again to stand down. Sir, I have confirmed intelligence about an attempted CVX gas attack on the District of Columbia, specifically on the President. I can't discuss what I know on the radio, but... President Simon died from his wounds at 317. You bring that intelligence to me, Pierce. I'll handle it from here. Sir, our government and its security have been compromised. I need to speak directly to the President-elect. I've given you repeated direct orders to stand down. Consider yourself suspended for breaking rank pending an investigation. Report for debriefing. Fine, you can have my badge, Kaufman. But I need to see the President first. A report after I've seen him and not before. Last chance, cowboy. Stand down, or I swear I'll have agents take you down before you get within a click of the President. We'll see about that. Pierce out. Where can you and I rendezvous so we can... about an army of two at this point. Who's gonna watch your back if I'm in front of you? I'll hold them here, you take them there. On radius, so I'll walk you through what I can.
Pierce. You should be coming up on blast door shortly. You'll get off the maintenance floor, back into the primary tunnel on the other side. Doyle, I don't see... Pierce! Hey, Pierce! You okay, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Some sort of tripwire, I think. I wasn't close enough to take a hit, but... Trip laser bomb. Trip the laser, set off the bomb. Nasty but beatable. Make sure your night vision goggles are on so you can spot the lasers. Avoid them if you can, shoot them if you can't. Oh, and hey, try not to be too close if you shoot them. For the obvious reason. And stay alert. Move, move. <laughs> I have another security device here, Doyle. Small box, wall mounting, no writing. You should see one or more lasers if you're using your goggles. That's a general sensor you've got there. Laser security. It's a trigger mechanism if you cross any lasers. For what? More anti-personnel bombs? I don't know. Alarm, turret, door, trigger. Might even call you a cab, for all I know. Shut the alarm off, Doyle! You act like I'm the Wizard of Oz. My hands are tied here. You're gonna have to find the computer and get wired. I'm the computer. Hack it and you should be able to override the alarm and open the doors. But you should hurry, bud. That alarm's gotta be calling someone.
Can you get through to the President-elect's detail and tell them I'm en route to meet with them about the Costa Centavans? Either they're observing radio silence, or they're all dead. Let's hope the former. Doyle, come in, Doyle. I hear you, Pierce. Are you all right? I hope so, man, because I ran into an issue while you were offline. The tunnels have been breached, the boards are lit up. Oh, it looks like we've lost control of the central computer war rooms down there. If you don't want to get sealed in, we've got to get you into hack the system. All right. I need you to direct me where to go and what to do. Warn me if you're losing signal again.
I've reached the war rooms. What am I looking for? There's a primary access computer on the upper floor. Number 4242. Hack it, and you'll regain control of the central computer and clear the path ahead of you. Number 42. Got it.
Doyle, I've hit a locked security door. Not a problem. Find its computer control and hack it. I thought you said I was clearing my path on the war room computer. want everything handed to you on a platter, don't you, bud? Hey, listen, if you're gonna be my eyes and ears, I don't expect you to be blind. and death. Pierce, we have a new problem. Now what? There's a truckload of enemy combatants in the tunnels. Keep your eyes open and watch your ass.
anybody they tell me to.
For the blood of Costa Centava! Costa Centava forever! do I have before the whole place explodes? Probably not enough. Then yes, I'll reach the backup. Coolant systems malfunction. Attention, main silo cooling system malfunction. Activating backup system. Attention, malfunction in backup system 4. Main silo cooling system. Evacuate all personnel and Now 
The backup cooling system is under our control again. Hostess and Tavin? Yeah. They're much deeper into our supposedly secure operations than I would expect, Doyle. Even if they do have an inside contact guiding them. That may speak to the power of their contact and their goals. I think you'll get more answers when you get to the White House.
Doyle, I have field agents between me and the White House. You need to call them back so I can get through. Not gonna happen, buddy. They're not enemies, but they're definitely not our allies right now either. I'm gonna need a clear path then. Understood, but no kill shots. Use only your tasers on agents. We don't want their blood on our hands. These guys are doing their jobs, just like you. Yeah, just like me.
I'm here. I'm in a wagon railway turnabout room of some sort. And I don't see any way out. Advise. There's gotta be a switch, button, or release of some sort located inside the bunker itself. Do you see it there? Doyle, power's out. What just happened? I'm not sure. I don't have any intel on Costa Centavans in the immediate area. Secret Service agents only, but... Either I did it by mistake or your intel is wrong. Or maybe our guys are shutting down the power. Backup's not enough for what I need. Generator room should be nearby. You could restart the juice yourself. But this screams ambush, man. I can handle it. I'll call you shortly.
check it one more time. I want answers, Semper. What is the Costa Centavan connection here? Arms? AKs, bomb vests, and missiles, IEDs, CDX gas, a cross-section of banned or restricted weapons of war. They practically sell them out of the trunks of their cars down there. So the president-elect promises to crack down on Costa Centava if he wins the election, and then someone else takes issue with that mandate and acts against him. The Vice President's been holding secret meetings with President Vargas of Costa Centavo. From the beginning, he was opposed to the President's foreign policy. It goes all the way back to his days as a congressman. We're going
gonna need more than that. I'll get to the VP. Talk to him. See what kind of read I can get on him. There are two miles of concrete and turret protected bunkers between you and him. That's in addition to the reputation you've acquired, if radio talk is correct. Talk wears thin after a while. When I'm done with this, you'll see.
clear. How close am I to the White House? You're close. You'll come up on the basement level. Now, as a no-brainer, security's gonna tighten up substantially. I should hope so. It is the White House. I'll call you when I see daylight again. All right, Doyle, I'm in the White House complex. Do you have a confirmed location for the president-elect? West Wing, the Oval Office. Costas and Tobbins between you and him. You probably had better count your bullets. You're gonna go through the bulk of them, I bet. Doyle, I'm drawing fire from our own agents. None of them are targeting the Costas and Tobbins. What the hell is going on? Why the hell are our guys with the Kosas and Tavins? Is this your doing, Kaufman? I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that. These men are not blind in any way. Put them down, Pierce. Put them down hard. But no death. Gain the defense only. I want those men alive. Always think of nothing else. Don't make me regret backing you, Pierce. I'm still going to get through to the President. You're not going to try to stop me, are you? This work is so damn boring. This is Agent Pierce, POTUS detail. I'm en route to the Oval Office. What is your situation? Pierce, we are protecting the President-elect in the office. We are pinned down by heavy enemy fire in the hallway. Are you able to assist? Affirmative. Hold for my arrival. Watch your friendly fire. This is Pierce. I confirm. We've cleared all Costa Centaven hostiles. Roger that. We're waiting to receive you in the Oval. 
Oval Office. Doyle, you hear all this? Yep, I copy, Pierce. Good luck in there. Remember that your gun is a great negotiation tool. Mr. President-elect, sir, we need to get you out of here. He's the president now, sworn in 15 minutes ago. Mr. President, the White House is overrun by hostiles. I strongly suggest we... We're not going out into some firefight so we can make history by losing two presidents in one day. We hold here until the cavalry comes. Sir, I need to speak with you alone. Anything you want to say to me, you can say in front of Fritz. All right, if you insist, sir. This attack has been highly coordinated, well beyond what could be plotted from beyond our borders. We believe someone from within the government may have been involved in the planning, someone with diplomatic connections. You'd better have specifics to back up your speculation here, Agent. Do you have a name? Not yet. But Mr. President, we also found CVX gas in the Capitol building. Another reason to move you as quickly as possible to a more secure location. Was any of it released? No, sir. We stopped the detonation meant to release it before it occurred. Are you certain you got it all? Anything I say would be pure speculation. Maybe you know the specifics. What are you implying, Agent? I'm stating that I believe- Agent, you are speaking to the Vice President of the United States of America. Fritz, what is he talking about? The hell if I have the slightest idea. Status! This all you have left from your detail? This is it. We're down to the wire. Reinforcements are coming from across the way, but they're anticipating a major attack any minute now. They could use your gun. What about you? We've held on this long. Besides, if they get through you guys, it's the Alamo here anyway. I'd rather have your gun on the front line than at the last stand. All right, tell them I'm coming so I don't get shot by friendly fire. Which way? Cut through the Rose Garden to the doors at the base of the central building. Good luck, Fierce. Roger that. Pierce, you copy? 
Come all the way up the stairs to the roof. Fall off? Not too far. You must be related to Agent Doyle. I'll be right there. Welcome to the Sniper's Nest, Pierce. Easy rules up here. Keep your night vision goggles on, shoot anything down below and two legs that gets too close to the building. What else? Oh, yeah. Keep your arms, legs, and head inside the ride at all times, or they'll get blown off. Take them down! Stay sharp! They're still coming! <laughs> Marksman. I know, because I'm a hell of a marksman. Anyway, we appreciate the trigger finger. To hell with you. One floor down to the rest of our detail. I'll cover you. Thank you later. Here, Pierce. This way. Good you came, Pierce. We should be all right now. We'll link up with the Oval Office detail as soon as we can. You should rejoin them while we're in the clear. Seems to be clear. Yeah, I know. This is off. Pierce! Rider fire from the park! We need your gun back here with us! 
nasty firefight, Pierce, and you're a dead eye. We appreciate the help. The park looks clear, but we'll cover you as far as we can when you head back. I haven't slept a solid hour in three days. Yeah, I know. This is awful. I can't believe those traitors! Sir, are you all right? Step away from the president! Agent Pierce, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna ask the VP a few questions, sir. About Costa Centava, about CVX, and about his role in today's events. Move over there. Keep your hands where I can see them, Mr. Vice President. You've lost your mind, Pierce. I don't think so. Did you sign a clearance that circumvents INS jurisdiction to bring citizens into the United States? Yes, but you've been misinformed. Agent Pierce, you are right. There's been covert operations, but not military. We've been trying to reach a diplomatic settlement with Costa Centava over its arms export business for some time. We have radio intercepts and an unauthorized shipment of CVX. The VP brokered a deal with the Costa Centavan government to bring in workers and new exports in exchange for cooperation. The Speaker of the House Davies helped with the negotiations. As for CVX, I can assure you the VP was not involved. The President and I have many disagreements over policy, but when it comes to this, we are both emphatic that Centava's arms exports must be stopped. You've got the wrong man, Pierce. If you say so, sir. But the agency has been compromised, and only a high-level authority could- We'll talk about this later, Agent Pierce. Right now, I need every loyal man. This is the president. Sir, my apologies for the intrusion. There is an attack force moving in from the north perimeter. It's a big force, sir. Too big. Identify yourself, caller. I'm working with your agents, sir. The ones who are still yours, anyway. I know who you are. You have direct access to the office of the presidency. Yes, sir, I do. You'll be sufficiently briefed. 
if you make it. This is Marine One calling the White House. Marine One inbound and under fire. Clear LZ and prepare POTUS for immediate evac. There are far too many of them out there. You won't make it to the ground. We'll divert attention. I'll take a couple of Marines to the east wing to draw their fire. Go for the south pad. If you land hard, you'll be in before they even know you're inbound. Sounds like you have a plan, son. Good luck. Does anyone know where the Vice President is? I'm here. Your plan is solid, Agent Pierce, but I'll lead the diversion. The President needs you with him. You're part of presidential protection. Jim, this isn't necessary. Let the Secret Service handle this. Don't be, uh... We're gonna have to keep agreeing to disagree. It's our public platform, Mr. President. <sighs> that it is, Jim. Good luck, Mr. Vice President. If we're gonna do this, we have to move. If I don't make it back, ah, well, hell, I bet you'll think of something good to say about me. You're on point, Pierce. I'm right behind you with the President, straight through to the pool house. We need your gun, so watch the gap between us. I'll try to hang back, you try to keep up. All units, open fire! We're gonna get the president killed if we keep trying to move this way, Pierce. We need to bait and switch here. I'll hold back in the pool building with him. You clear the park so we can move again. You'll have to draw all the fire. Open your radio channel. If I hear gunfire on your end, I'll backtrack as fast as I can. I'll call when we're clear. If you mean if we're clear. I said exactly what I mean. Halfway to the LZ, but it's hot as hell. Shooting gallery, but I'm still close to the shooting. Don't move a step with the present yet. Is he alright? This is Agent Pierce. LZ is hot. We've split the detail. I'm coming in from the west alone. You get me airborne and armed, we'll clear the remaining hostiles before extracting the president and his escort. Escort, do you copy that? We're on the ground. Where are you? Almost on top of you. 
I could have used support fire, Marine One. We drew heavy fire from the east side of the park and had to swing wide if we wanted to pick you up at all. Fight or flight, you know? I'm approaching from the west, Marine One. We need to clear the area now. The gun's loaded? Yep. It's filled with night vision, but not a muffler. They'll hear us. And see us. And they'll shoot us down if you're not quicker on the draw than they are. Of course, all you gotta do is pull the trigger, and you'll win. You don't have armor? It's not bulletproof. We can't last forever, so try not to take that long. Time to get this party started. We have cosins running under the trees and over the road. We're closing in here. They're all yours. RPGs on the ground. You gotta hit these hard. They'll bring us down in no time flat. Multiple hostiles mingling near the large fountain. Time to break up the party. <laughs> I spot hostiles. Let's clear out the area.
one, I'm bringing POTUS to you now. We are coming in from the west. We are all clear, POTUS detail. 9 one preparing to protect the president. Welcome aboard, sir. I want you to extract him immediately. That is a direct presidential order. Yes, sir. Changing course. Air Force Pitus. Correction, Marine One. This is Vice President Fritz. Negative on that extraction. We're drawing so much fire here. I'm not... I'm not getting out alive. Jim, we're coming for you. Sit tight until... The VP comes up clear on the manifest shipments, Pierce. There was another man on secret trips to Costa Santaba at the same time. I've crossed quite a few lines today, and I don't- You may have to cross one more. Stay alert. I see the Speaker of the House behind you. He and those Secret Service agents are too close to the President. Something's about to happen. Tell me what you know. We don't have time to just react. This hit was big, Pierce. Ambitious, really. It took inside agents to get this close. And it wasn't just meant for the president. It was meant to kill the entire South American delegation in Washington this week. Thanks to you, we found most of the CVX gas in time. Most of it? All but one bio-grenade on the manifest was found. But that one grenade is still enough gas to kill everyone in three city blocks. You think it's on board Air Force One? The shipment was signed for under an old diplomatic voucher. A former ambassador to Costa Centava. Davies. He was an ambassador to Costa Santava for eight years. Davies was there in Costa Santava the same days as the VP. He's our shadow man, Pierce. He was escorted by Secret Service on the trip. They were from the same field office as the agents who attacked in the DC tunnels. Agent Pierce, we still have the matter of your threat to the Vice President to deal with. Yes, sir. May I have a word with you alone? Uh, what issue is this, Mr. President? The service's investigation into a secret CVX shipment and a possible leak in the Secret Service office. You said you'd uncover an encrypted manifest? Gun! You men are sworn to protect the President! It's an ever-changing office, Pierce. They're with me. I'm in charge here now. I want Air Force One in the air in five minutes, you hear me? Or the President is dead. Stay calm, Davies. We can negotiate the release of a- No! No more talking. This country is going to hell in a handbasket, and it's all this talking that has turned us from world leaders to third world followers. It all would have been remedied today, but I can still make an example of this weak government. Doyle, Kaufman, anyone. Davies is on the run, but there's a locked metal door between him and me. I'm drawing heavy fire from our own! Kaufman here, Pierce. The rescinding my earlier order. You're authorized to use deadly force in the pursuit and capture of Davies and the rescue of the President. I need schematic information on how to get to him now. Until you hear back from me, hold your position and prepare to engage. Pierce, it's Kaufman. Davies has control of the cockpit. You need to override the cockpit computer. Or I could override Davies by putting a bullet in him. The plane is not on autopilot and Davies get you first, we lose Air Force One. You'll get your chance at Davies. Cover our assets first. Main computer is one floor down to the cargo floor.
Kaufman, I have control of the main computer. Autopilot should be turning us about for DC. I'm turning you loose on Davies. Good work with the hack. Head back to the upper floor. Barricade the door! Kaufman, they've blockaded the doors. I doubt I can shoot my way through. I'm gonna need an alternate path. I won't keep them waiting long, sir. of some sort. <coughs> they went up close by, but I'm all right. Still have enemies at the gate. Fire's out, Kaufman. You don't want him taken into custody? No sign of Davies yet, and all access to the top floor is barred. If I try to shoot my way in, I'm likely to injure the President. Hey, it's Toilbot. Listen up. In the back of the plane in the security lockers area, you should find a standard deep freeze spray tool number 57. Use it to cut your way into the control room. Doyle, I've recovered the deep freeze spray. I'm headed back to the front of the plane. Where can I breach the control room? On the third floor. There's a room directly adjacent to the control room. It's your best choice for getting through the wall.
dialed. Please check the number and dial again. President. Good luck. Shoot Davy.
the last of the alleged assassins have been detained. However, the Department of Homeland Security advisory system remains at severe, the maximum risk of further terrorist attacks. And while members of the Costa Centauvan Security Force continue to be questioned, flags across the nation fly at half-mast to honor those who gave their lives this day, including outgoing President Simon and Vice President-elect William H. Fritz, who has been described as a national hero by members of the new administration. I'd like to tell you that there's some sort of reward or medal for what you two agents did today. No, sir, Mr. President. We understand our duty. Days like today are just part of our job descriptions anyway, sir. Well, let me tell you what I can give you. The recognition and appreciation of the President of the United States. You are to be commended, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. So, we're not getting promoted for this, are we? After the day he's had, do you really want to ask? Let's wait until he's been on the job for at least one day before we bring it up. News, there are further developments. Costa Centauvan President Gerardo Vargas denounced the role his people played in today's events, denying any involvement by his government. He added, however, that the presence of U.S. investigators in Costa Centava would be unacceptable, suggesting that their safety would be seriously jeopardized.
Pierce. You did good work today. Thank you. So did you, Semper. You gonna tell me who you are now? No. I didn't think so. You gonna tell me what happens now? I'm already hearing whispers about a covert operation at Costa Centava. That's almost a given. There are tyrants in every other country, son. Waving to a cheering crowd while they're killing another crowd in secret fields. Sometimes it takes a generation to identify a Hitler or a Stalin. Or a Vargas. But sometimes you know who they are in the moment. And then you can do something good for this planet we all have to share. You're an idealist then? Maybe. I prefer to think I'm a realist. A well-connected, heavily armed realist. And I watch our world. Well, after today, so will I, Semper. All the time. Always. I'll be in touch. I'll be waiting.